creativity is funny, you know, that, that word. What does it mean? What does inspiration mean? You know, and I think sometimes we think about it in terms of like inspiration, for instance, in like a lightning bolt. I'm inspired. I was inspired by that and I wrote about it. And you know, I think sometimes that's how it happens. I do think that some of the songs we write are event driven and the immediate reaction to something that's going on in your life and you write about it. And I think that's a fabulous place to start. I really do. I just don't think it's a great place to stop. I think there's something interesting going on in the world every moment. And I think one key here is getting out of your own self. When I write about something, all I need to, to be able to do it well, besides a little bit of talent, I guess, is a well to go to, some kind of well to go to. And so if I read something in the paper and I just look at it and I go, oh, okay, and I just keep reading, I have no well to go to. That didn't strike me in a certain way. If I read something in the newspaper and I go, God, that's awful. I can't believe that they're, how, why would somebody do that? Or, oh God, that's just so fabulous. You know, I wish that was me. I then have a well to go to. And part of what I'm writing about at that point is my opinion about the facts I'm about to share with you. Um, that can be a very nice place to ground a song. Um, the other thing that, that happens for me a lot is delayed inspiration, delayed gratification, you know, instead of instant. And the catalyst theory, I call it. And I want to give you some examples. How many of you were here yesterday? Or the day before, I mean. When I talked about grown men don't cry and where it came from. Um, so so for, in case you weren't, I'm going to make this really brief. I read it in a book. And this, this kid came home from a high school basketball game and he missed the last shot. There were two seconds left on the clock. The team was down by one point. The ball came to him. He put it up and it went in and out. And the team lost the game. And he comes home and he tells his dad about it in the book. And the dad says, you can be disappointed, but stop crying. The kid was crying. He said, don't be crying. Grown men don't cry. And, it, you know, you could read that and go, Okay, keep reading. Or you could say, damn straight, they don't, that's right. I agree with that. Or you could have my reaction. What do you mean grown men don't cry? I just did it last night. I'm a, I think I'm a grown man, and I cry every chance I get, pretty much, when I feel like crying. And what got me in that book was that here's this father giving this advice to his son, and it made me think of my son. I have a 20-year-old. And I go, I don't want to teach him that. I don't, want to te I don't want to foster that stereotype that is in our society a little bit, of if you, you know, like where women get to be all emotional and express themselves to their full extent. And men are supposed to suck it up, be a man, shake it off. Certainly don't let anybody see your weakness. That's baloney to me. It's not healthy. It causes a lot of heart attacks. You know, I think it'd be a lot healthier for men and anybody else to express the full range of their emotions. Notice I'm going on and on about this, but that's what led me to write the song I did. Um, and you know, in case you weren't here the other day, I'll just do one verse of this. Um, what did that lead me to write? Well, it, it, I took that phrase, grown men don't cry, and I said, what do you mean grown men don't cry? And I knew that, what do you mean, grown, wasn't going to work in a song? So I softened it to, I don't know why they say grown men don't cry. Like as a saying, I don't know why they say grown men don't cry. At which point, I had no idea what I was going to write.